Yo, what's up everybody, Fortitron here. And today we are back again with our Elden Ring Easy Mode Beginner's Guide Remastered, which is going to include the brand new Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. In the previous episode, we went further into Lindell and we took on our first main boss, which is Golden Godfrey, and we dunked all over him. And then we went through the area and we picked up a few items, and now we're ready to progress through the rest of the game. So let's get into it. Okay. Now that we've done that, we could go to the very next boss. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that just yet. Let's go back to Kaled, and I want to go to... Um, Kind of a fort that we haven't gone to yet. So we're going to go to Rotview Balcony. And from here, we're going to turn right. More preserving boluses here. We're going to jump up. Free money over here. Man, I'm surprised we didn't grab this earlier. Not much, though. Okay, we're going to kind of hug this right wall because we want to stay away from these dogs that are over here. And then let's grab this side of Grace. Okay, there is this silver scarab that's over here. So just wait for it to come by and then we're going to get it. And this gives us Flame of the Red Mains. Really awesome Ash of War. Okay, now that we've gotten that, let's go back to where the Steady Grace is. And we're going to jump up this way. Kind of avoid all these dudes. Give me a guy up there and he's going to be shooting kind of the same arrows that Radon had. Rushed. All right. Usually I like to sneak around here, but we don't have to. We're just going to run, 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 grab this item, which is flame grant me strength. Another really important incantation. And we're just going to run back. Go down the left side where we came from. Drop that guy in half. And then grab the side of grace. We're going to go to memorize spell and we're going to put on flame grant me strength, which is an awesome incantation. Now we can finally equip our finger seal. And what flame grant me strength does is it gives you a boost in strength and defense. So if we look at the incantation here, Raises physical and fire affinity attack of power. So really, really great. So enhances our defense and our attack power. Really awesome uh, incantation. So what we want to get in the habit of is before a boss fight is putting on flame grant me strength, do our physic and then buff up. And then we're going to crush. Next thing we're going to do, let's go back all the way to uh, the church of e Ella. Actually, a shorter distance is the coastal cave. That was Bach. I haven't done a storyline. You don't have to. You, we beat the boss in that area, so you could just give him the the sewing needle, and then he becomes your seamstress, and he edits uh, armor sets for you. I'm going to purchase this club. I think we already have one, but I'm going to buy another one anyway. And then let's go back to round table hold. And 
And then let's run over here. No, 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 no. Oh. Don't pay me any. Just lay out your... We're gonna go to Ashes of War. Let's go to that club that we just bought. And we're gonna put on Flame of the Red Mains and make it a fire club. Okay. Now that we've done that... Let's go to Kaled, and we're going to go here to Dragon Borrow West. And we're going to go to Radon's Tower. Remember when I told you that each demigod has a tower? So Godric had a tower that we went to. Renala doesn't really have a tower, uh, but Ronnie does. And that's part of another quest line, but we're not really going to do that. And we beat Radon, so we can go to Radon's tower and unlock it. So we're gonna jump onto this branch and then onto this ledge over here. This guy over here is a piece of shit. So just block his attack and then kill him. I'm gonna climb up this ladder. Okay, when you get up top, we're gonna jump on Torrent. Jump up over this gap, jump over this gap, go over here, jump past this guy, jump past this gap, jump past this gap, jump down here, okay, and then hop off of torrents, then climb up this ladder. Nice. Okay, and then now we can light this side of grace. If you go left, uh, there's a path all the way to the basement of the tower, and you get a, a faith weapon that does black magic damage or black flame damage. So not really worth it, but you can do that in your own time. We're just going to go over here and then open up the tower. Let's go up. Okay, so now that we're at the top, we can go get his great rune. Now we have Radon's Great Rune. We can go back to the side of Grace. Okay, and you could switch to his Great Rune, but it'll take away your Rune Arc, and then you have to use another one to activate his Great Rune. But I'm gonna show you the difference. So when we go to Great Runes here, and then we look at Radon's, uh, it raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. So instead of getting a flat five and a bunch of attributes that we're really not gonna use, this is way better because we get more HP, more FP, and more stamina. So I'm gonna switch to this. It'll take away our current rune arc and then we have to use another one. And now we've got more HP, more FP, and more stamina. So a better boost for our our build. Uh, what I want you to get used to is with now the extra buffs that we're gonna do. So you would do your sippy, put on a flame grimy strength, use golden vow, switch back. And then you would also take another sip of your flask of cerulean tears. And then what I think I also want to do is equip that club on our left hand. And then we should start off a fight by two handing the club and then using its its weapon art or uh, its Ash of War. Because this flame looks like bullshit, but it does a shit ton of posture damage. So instead of starting with a charger or two, start with that, flip back to um our bloodhounds fang and then do the charge r2 and then an l2 and like we should break their posture like super fast so that's probably going to be the new way to do things 
All right, now that we've done that, let's warp back. We're gonna go to the queen's bedchamber. All right. I'm gonna pass the time. Let's see if we got any money. Oh yeah, we got lots. Let's use this Lord's rune. 50,000. Nice. Okay, and then we'll use this Hero's Rune. Give us a nice 15 Gs. Then let's use this Golden Rune 11. And then let's level up. I'm just going to put it into Vigor. Okay, nice. You're gonna run over here. And this is the next boss. We can actually summon Melina here, which is great. And we can also summon our Mimic tier. So let's get rid of the crab. And we'll put our Mimic tier there. And how do I feel about these? I feel good about all these. Yeah, maybe instead of the Claw Talisman, uh, we'll put on this uh, Amber Medallion because it graces, it greatly increases our stamina. And I would save Scum right here. Okay, so now that you save Scum, let's summon in Melina. Okay, let's take our sippy. Then we're gonna buff up. Okay, let's flip back to this and then let's two hand our club. Let's use a gold foul foot. And let's go to pound town. Great cutscene. All right, let's use flame of the red mains. Switch back. And let's go to Pound Town. I also forgot that we can put on... Where is it now? Market Shackle. Let's summon our Mimic. Step back. Let's get some more juice. I don't think this works anymore. But it's just it's just Margit, dude, with a little bit of extra steps. a bit more nimbly. Thought I would have rolled that. Okay, easy. Flip back. Dunked on. Got 140,000 runes for that. But yeah, easy fight. I don't even know if we really need to go over that, but I messed up by not having the Market Shackle equipped beforehand and then also the Mimic tier. Uh, but just use that shit to your advantage and then just Market Shackle him once, get some free hits off, and you should be fine. Um, you talk to him. He's basically like, you did all this shit for nothing. Like, you're stupid. We're all fools. He's basically saying that none, nobody can become Elden Lord because when we go to the Erd Tree, which we're at, there's all of these thorns in front of it and you can't get past here. That's what the sign says. It says it's impenetrable. It refuses all. The Morgoth was here this whole time protecting the Erd Tree, well knowing nobody could get in. 
And he's basically like, ha ha ha, like, you're dumb. But yeah, remember uh, Godric? After he was dead and he was just like that tiny little man? So this is what Morgoth looks like without the power of his great rune. So he's just like a shell of who he was. And he's all decrepit and decayed like that is because everyone in the lands between can't die. Nobody can die a natural death um, because the rune of death has been taken. You'll find out more about that later. All right, sit at the grace. Melon, I'll come talk to you. Hello, allow me. You are unable to prevent it. The thorn, a hus, he only went and become my pup, so I'd like to the flame then and guide. So she's basically like, yeah, did you notice that there's thorns to another earth tree? The only way to get past that is to go to the mountaintops of the giants and we need to burn down the earth tree. So pretty intense. Okay, we're going to level up. Remember, I, I want to get her vigor to 60 and I want to get her endurance to 30 and then her dex 60. 60 is the soft cap for an attribute. So once you start going past 60 in an attribute, your return on investment is not that high unless you're using a weapon that specifically calls for that particular stat. Uh, but rule of thumb is I would just go to 60, prioritize other attributes. And then once you got them to where you want, then you can add more points to that particular attribute. Okay, now that we've done that, she's marked a thing on our map. We're gonna go all the way to here to the Avenue Balcony. And we're gonna run out this way. All right, we're gonna get this big ass door and let's open this shit up. I was fat rolling there. Okay. I'm gonna run past all these dudes. There's nothing really here that we want. Yeah, nascent butterfly. Okay, just keep running. That's right, bitch. guy over to the right over here just kill him kill this guy kill this guy I think this is another talisman we're never gonna use yeah the fire the flame drake talisman let's avoid that guy over there All that for a somber six. Wow, he's still alive? Nice, great stuff. Oh, 
Okay, so once you're here, if you go out that way, that's another mini boss, and it's on the way to the tower for Morgoth's Great Rune. We're not gonna use Morgoth's Great Rune. His rune just gives you a massive amount of HP. I like Radon's rune the best, especially for later on, and especially when we go to the DLC. So we're just gonna catch this elevator down. There's a side of grace at the bottom, so you catch it and then go back up and then do those bosses if you want. Then once we're at the bottom here, we're gonna run out. Grab this side of grace. And now we're in the Forbidden Lands. Yeah. All right, and that's a good place to end it. So we did a lot. We went and took out Morgoth, uh, which is a boss that we fought in two times before. So with the Shackle and a Mimic here and then Melina, which have no troubles donkey on them. And now we've gotten our way to the Forbidden Lands, and then we're gonna continue on in the next episode. But I'm gonna give you a homework assignment first. What I would like you to do is I would like you to go back to Limgrave and I'm going to link a video in the description and I want you to finish off every other little minor boss that's in Limgrave. So you're going to do that. And then what I also want you to do is do the same thing in Liernia. There's a bunch of little bosses. I think there's only a few that we left uh, that you can go do. There is also uh, a sacred tier that's right here. So if you go from the Grand Lift of Dectus, uh, and then you go around this way and you'll go all the way up, 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 up and around. Uh, there'll be uh, a Church of America that you can go to and get another sacred tier, which will increase your flasks potency. So again, link in the description, finish off all of the bosses in Limgrave and then all of the bosses in Liernia. And that's your homework assignment. We'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>